on video was that person in the elevator with her, and you telling me six days later that you going to check this information? My name is um, Calvin Bird. I'm Sonia Dennis's dad. I'm going to be real with y'all. People have like little pieces of paper where they read from. I don't need all that. It's simple to me. Today is Friday. My daughter been missing since Saturday. Where's the mayor at? He's black? That, that don't, I guess that don't matter. My daughter's a black honor roll student at the, at the college and has no tendency of doing nothing. We're all baffled what's going on. The fact that he's not here speaks volumes. We didn't speak to him since. What, how long, what, what's, what's the, somebody answer these questions. What's the criteria of having an Amber Alert? Because unfortunately, my, I think my daughter's one, eight, one, one year um, over the Amber Alert um, criteria. These are questions that we need to answer. Why does it take so long to get subpoenas to, um, to cell phone records? Why does it take so long to get um, video footage of, 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 of buses? If this was somebody else's kid, I'm just going to put it like that. If this was somebody else's kid, I think it would have happened like this. Today is Friday. That's six days. You need to, I, I looked on, 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 on Instagram. This guy, Mayor Brown, I don't know him. I'm from New York. I see him having um, photo ops in front of um, Belmont Housing Financial Education Center. This is, to me, this is way more important. But, but I guess, you know, he's on calls or whatever the case may be. You, I just want y'all to ask him these questions. I'm Tanaya's sister, Kiora. Um, my mom and I arrived here um, as soon as we could. We got here on um, Monday, Monday evening going into Tuesday. And um, I hear everything that everyone is saying. I just want the world to know what type of person my sister was. Tanaya worked two jobs. She, um, she was a mechanical engineering major. She was very, you know, focused on her studies, very studious. She was a good friend, a good person. She has a good heart. She's um, very, she communicates um, as much as she possibly can. Sanaya is 19 years old, and when she comes to visit my mother in this city or comes to visit our family, she lets her know when she's running late, or she lets her know who she's going to be with or what time she expects to be home. These um, are things that I think we should take into account when we think about someone that's been gone for six days and hasn't made any communication with their family. It's most important to know her character and that this is not like her. This is not of her nature. She is, um, my mother always says she's a creature of habit. You know, she's, she took pride in the work that she did. She works for Project Flight and she's in no way on campus as well. She doesn't miss work. She doesn't miss class. Um, it's also important to know that she turned in homework assignments on Saturday up until she was last seen. So it doesn't sound to me like a person that was anticipating on not returning back to their, um, back to their dorm or not returning back to school. Um, my family is very distraught. Everybody's emotions are out of whack and you know we don't know what to say or how to say it. We only know that we want our sis my, my sister back. You know my mom wants her daughter back. Sanaya's father wants his daughter back. My uncles want their niece. My children want their aunt. That's the long and the short of it. Just whatever can be done. Whatever resources need to be exercised. You know whoever needs to be spoken to. Just whatever we can do to bring Sanaya home safe and sound is our main priority. The only priority. You know, my name is Daryl Thomas, and I'm Sanaya's um, uncle. We've been up here a little short of uh, how many hours? Well, we got in here in the morning, around 2 in the morning. And the officer just mentioned how all of these city agencies are involved in this case. And the little bit that my sister have learned her daughter has learned, her father has learned, the information that they got. With just that information alone, a lot more progress should have been made with these city agencies that was mentioned. We spoke with the officer early today. There was a picture mentioned about in the elevator with Sanaya. There was another person in that elevator with Sanaya. 
I asked, well, well have that person been interviewed? And the, the answer that I had gotten from that is that we, we gonna check in on that now. Six days, the only human being that was in the elevator at that time that we know on video was that person in the elevator with her, and you telling me six days later that you gonna check this information? You so adamant about how um, she got the ping from her phone in um, Niagara Falls, but there was a conversation on her phone in the, in the middle of all that, from that afternoon until one o'clock in the morning, and that person hasn't been questioned, and that person has stated some very important, made some very important and scary statements. And that person is not considered a suspect in this case. Between two o'clock in the afternoon, midnight, when my sister got a text message from her phone, and, and the text read in a way where Sinai doesn't speak like that. Her language isn't like that. And we let them know that. And then after 12, what time was it? 12, uh, um, 12, 15 or something. And then after that text message was sent to my sister's phone, the conversation between that individual that was on the phone with her continued until one o'clock. And these, Officers are saying that all of these city agencies, including the mayor, is concerned about this, and this is the sixth day in this. There's no videotape showing that she left this property to be in Niagara Falls, other than the fact that they know that there's a ping that came from her phone. But what about the ping that was on the individual's phone that was communicating with her? What about his ping or, or her ping or wherever that came from? So you telling us all these questions and, and, and uh, you giving us all this information in front of the camera, but there's a lot that we are dissatisfied with behind these cameras. You know, and we're not trying to bring anybody shame or all we want is to have her bought, uh, get some information, tell us something, and that's not happening. You can't have that much money spent in that kind of city agency attention and have no results at all, absolutely no results. And, there's, and, and just two photo apps you're going with from a person traveling from this university all the way to Niagara Falls, and all you can show and account for is two photos, one of her in the elevator and another one of her um, traveling off the campus ground, but no evidence of her entering the park or, or being seen near the park or the bus traveling from here to the park. There's a lot of questions that need to be asked, and it's just not adding up. It's not adding up, and don't let these cameras fool you. Dogs hasn't been brought out to, to get a scent from her room to wherever it, it's suspected that she would have left these campus grounds. We ask that if anybody out there professionally have dogs that can smell, we're willing to pay them to use these animals or something like that. This is a, this is a shame on, uh, on the state of Buffalo for a young lady to be missing this long, and you don't have nothing but a video uh, picture, still picture of her in the elevator, and saying that she traveled some far distance to another park, a state park at that. And there's no point of entry of a photo of she coming into the park. So don't let these cameras fool y'all. This, this, is, this is nonsense. 